Let's get sweaty. We then come into uh, the Yu Suzuki end of year message. So Famitsu every year interview a number of um, Japanese developers. This year it's 141 of them. So it's a lot of them. And they ask them about the New Year's resolutions, what their plans are, etc. for the upcoming year. So Yu Suzuki's end of year message, the key word he had was light AI or artificial, artificial intelligence. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about what that is in a minute. He said, the ambition for 2023 is to try approaching AI with a light heart, but without overtaking logic of thought. Answers derived by imperfect AI, including bugs, should be fun. It makes me think of uh, some of the AI bugs in Shenmue 1, where they all think get, the bomb, stuck, in the... get stuck in tomato <laughs> store and yeah, can't get out. Yeah, yeah. And there's one in Shenmue 3 where they all walked into the lake, I think. Okay. Which <laughs> yeah. is quite funny. Sounds familiar. Mm. Um, I will go on a journey to find new ideas using AI. Uh, mm-hmm. Recent report, what they've been doing in 2022, released a new work, Air Twister from Apple Arcade. In 2023, I'm also involved in, in character supervision for a project called OASIX, which for those of you who aren't aware of it, and this is slightly controversial, certainly Western circles, it is a game based around NFTs, non-fungible tokens. They over here and in the West, a lot of companies have announced them, taken an absolute battering on social media and have then been quietly cancelled. They seem to be a bit more widely accepted in Japan when there's also sort of big names out there like Sega, Bandai, uh, Namco Bandai, Bandai Namco rather, and mm-hmm. Square Enix involved with them. So it's a, it looks like a side project for Yu Suzuki. It's not tied to WiseNet, but there is a, I think some people would raise a question mark over it potentially. I don't want to talk too much about it because it's not something I'm particularly au fait with, um, but it's already there. And mm-hmm. he said, Uh, Things to watch in 2023. Uh, I have great expectations for the evolution of AI technology, uh, the appearance of entertainment with visual images that surpass human imagination and the efforts to find original value in digital data. So I suppose my biggest question is, was there any Shenmue-related stuff in there? I mean, you're you're scratching really far down the barrel here with the NPC stuff to relate it to the Shenmue NPCs and their schedules, etc. It's interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. I mean, if you think about what, what's happening currently, leaps and bounds in terms of AI, obviously you've got the AI, AI artworks that have just taken shape. Mm-hmm. Again, another sort of controversial topic for, you know, people like Koji and all these Shemu fan artists yeah, that yeah, actually yeah. hand draw all this artwork. Stuff. Yeah. And, but obviously a lot of these AI concepts are coming into play where they're, they're generating artworks that are, seemingly almost as good as hand-drawn stuff uh, which is crazy how the the ai is sort of taking knowledge and bits and pieces from across the globe really to to create these images and stuff and there's also ai voice to speech yeah or, or text to speech which is happening i know um for some of my uni work i've been trying to find like decent text to speech and there's one site that's got like gwyneth paltrow who you know, okay. you, you can like copy and paste something, and the AI, even though she's not actually probably said these words in her life, is somehow saying them as her. <laughs> so it it depends what Yu Suzuki is actually thinking about in terms of AI. Obviously, he says light, light AI, so he's just sort of dipping his toes into it. But could he be planning some of the stuff for Shenmue? Um, one of the things I was thinking about, which I don't know how I'd feel about it, but say if um say like voice actors are going to get replaced by ai and he can kind of tailor shemu's conversations perhaps you speak to a character and it's creating a conversation just on a whim do you know what i mean so they don't have to input loads of text in the game loads of different so you keep going back to the you know in shemu if you 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 get an update in your notepad and go back to Mm. a character they say something different maybe he's thinking of like ways of how to just create that without doing any of the legwork. Like yeah, just possibly. the AI forms it. And then these voices, you've got Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow coming out of Shenfar's mouth. <laughs> um, so it'd be interesting to see what he actually means. And uh, we, we did notice Matt, was it, I think it was the end of 2020 when he said about the space shooter. Mm. And obviously that took two years to actually, uh, come what's that word yeah come Come okay (laughs) come to fruition again that's that word again um so 
may not be next year that we see what his his plans are with AI. It could take a year or two, um, but it could be something he's planning for Shamu Four to maybe make the creation of Shamu Four easier uh, yeah, to, to some extent. We just have to see where where this goes. I guess. I mean, we also haven't had the four gamer version of this as well as of us recording this right now. So yeah. if that does come out, of course, um, we'll we'll put out a news post or I'll do a video on it just to summarise what's come out in that as well. So mm-hmm. keep your eyes out for that. But it's very interesting. We'll, we'll see where it takes us in terms of Shenmue, whether it's related or not. But it's very, very cards close to the chest, this one. The Air Twister stuff, when you think 2020, 2021, actually what he said in terms of like shooter in 2020, 2021, he said mix, which is like mix yeah. of artists, etc. Mm-hmm. And it all, I it suppose all, was that was working with the um, Valencia guy yeah, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. So it all sort of came together for air twister, but there's nothing quite as on the surface anyway, as obvious as, as, as those this time around. So we'll just see how that develops and where we go into 2023. 